Hi everyone, welcome to my channel today. So today I'm popping on making some flowers using vellum. So I've got two thicknesses of vellum. One I've oops, one of my flowers in there. <laughs> yeah, right. So I have well, this is all I've got left of one of my pieces of vellum. And this is the other one that I am going to try. So these flowers here, I have cut out of this. It's rather thick. Um, I'm not sure of the weight of either of these two vellums, but you can see this one is a lot finer than the one in my other hand. You can literally see my fingers through there. I think you kind of struggle to see them through here. So I am going to um, stamp some more flowers out using this vellum. I've got um, some of my gel pens I'm going to use. I've also got my um, Spectrum Noir dual tip permanent markers. I also have some um, colouring pencils I want to use and then I've got my fine point permanent markers as well and I just want to find out which vellum takes what colour the best. So like I say I've Stamp those ones out on the thicker vellum and I'm going to start colouring using, um, first of all, I am going to use my gel pens. So, I'm going to start with this glitter gel pen. I'm going to start with this purple colour. And all I've done is flipped my flower over and I just want to see how this sort of takes to the vellum. It seems to be going on quite okay. I'm just looking and I think that might take a little while to dry so I may have to um, dry it with my uh, heat tool. I'm not going to be tempted to look just now. I am just going to carry on colouring this in and what should happen is um, the colour will show through on the other side. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry. Okie dokie, so I'm now going to um, take um, my colouring pencils and I'm just going to do maybe some similar uh, colours. don't think um, it's taking very well either with the um, colouring pencils. I think it will be a case of going over um, the vellum a few times.
Okie dokie. So now I'm going to put the flowers together. So I've got one last thing to do. I've coloured all my flowers in now. I just want to pop a little bit of this um, Dovecraft 3D Pearl Effect into my last flower. Oh, isn't the sun gorgeous there on my uh, on my mat? I'll give it a little tap and let that sort itself out, level out itself. Okie dokie, so the bit I've been looking forward to is the finished flowers. So the first one I'm going to show you is using my gel pen. So the purple and the pink layers of the flower were a um glitter gel pen and then this was just a green gel pen without any glitter and the colors look really pretty i do like them however i wasn't fond of using the thicker vellum and i did find the pens weren't great to color with however I think it is a pretty flower and has come through quite well. There are bits I can see on the front um, where I can still see the vellum. Um, I'll just lift that up and maybe you can see there too. I can see where it hasn't coloured in very well. So I will probably have to go over there again. Um, I wouldn't say there looks like much glitter at all in the colouring. It's more of just a nice sort of um, shine to the flower on the back. So that is the gel pens. The next one I did with the... So these are all using the thicker vellum. Was colouring in with my um, pencils. And that was the colouring on the back. I didn't think the pencils worked brilliantly. Um, this is two or three times I've gone over it and I still find it hasn't coloured very well. Um, but yes, you can still see the uh, colours there, although they do look rather uh, subtle. The next one I did was the um, Spectrum Noir in pastels. Now then, I don't know if it was because I used pastel colours, but I don't really think that is picking the colour up very well. You probably did see in the um, video where I did try a few different colours. Um, you can just see them slightly on the back, the purpley, well, it was a, a soft purple and pistachio that I used, but I don't think that has come out very well at all. It is really, really subtle. On the front, um, you really struggle to see that they have been um, coloured in. And the last one that I did was um, this one and this was using my um, Sharpie Fine Point marker pens and I have used, I don't want to really tip this one over so I'm just going to lift the edge up. So I used the purple colour on the back and then this green and yeah i think that one has picked the colors up really really nicely so that is with the thick um vellum so now on to the thinner vellum so on the all of the flowers i used exactly the same color pens and pencils so i'm going to start first of all with the gel pens this is the two colors i used so it was the purple and pink 
glitter gel pens and on the back yes i would say it is picking the glitter up rather nicely um, however it doesn't come through to the front at all um, the color has taken quite nicely however you can see all of the um, pen lines where i've colored it and i have gone over it a few times and it's not really making a lot of difference um the next one i did was the soft purple and pistachio spectrum noir pens the colors have come i would say quite well they are pastel so i would say it has um come through to the front of the flower quite nicely so that is the um pastels then the next one was the um coloring pencils so again i used the three um coloring pencils and again i have gone over this a few times so there there is a few layers on the coloring and again it leaves the um pencil marks on the back color wise i think it is rather nice and then the last one i did was the permanent markers and i think that one has really taken taken the color really nicely um you can see the colors come through beautifully onto the front of the flower and it has colored brilliantly on the back so yeah what do i think um, I'll bring my other ones in and then we can look at them all together. So yeah, there you go. There are my lovely little vellum flowers all coloured in and decorated in the centre with a lovely little gem. And it is thick versus thin vellum. Also, which one would I use again? So for me, the winner is the Thin Vellum, and yes, I would definitely use it again. And was it the gel pens, the Sharpie pens, Spectrum Noirs, or my pencils? Well, for me, it is the Sharpie colouring pens. Um, I think they have coloured in firstly the colour really stands out on the front of the flowers and also for the ease of use they are much easier to use and colour the vellum than the other pens and pencils so yeah for me the overall winner is definitely the thinner vellum and my sharpie pens so please let me know in the comments below um if you prefer thicker or thinner vellum and also what pens or pencils did you enjoy me using um let me know if you have done any coloring using vellum um i would really really love to hear from you so just before i pop off i would like to give a shout out for the lovely andrea the cumbrian crafter here on youtube andrea is a very talented crafter and she makes some absolutely gorgeous things she has lots of different crafts on her channel and they are absolutely amazing so she has just passed 600 subscribers and is doing a thank you giveaway 
It is open UK and international and it is a fabulous giveaway. So to enter the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to Andrea's channel. You also need to pop in the words enter me and like her video, share it or do a VR. So yeah, if you would like to take part in Andrea's giveaway, please head on over to her channel where you will find all the details of how to enter this fabulous giveaway. And yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed my little flower making today. If you have, would you please consider giving me a thumbs up and also leaving a comment. I would really love to hear from you. And could I just ask, would you please consider subscribing to my channel? I will be ever so grateful for this. So thank you for watching today. Have a wonderful day. Happy crafting. Take care and see you all soon. Bye bye for now.